Okay, so in today's One Piece game video, we'll actually be awakening the main race and the Electro fighting style. And to do this, we're gonna have to complete a bunch of steps to actually do guys to complete yourself as well, which to real quick, hit that like button and subscribe. Step one is to spin for the main race with a bunch of gems and gems can be pretty hard to get, but then we're gonna have to even awaken this main race. Step two is to find the brand new Zoe Island and defeat all the new bosses on this island for the Moon Fragment drop, but not just one drop. We're gonna need four of these Moon Fragments to awaken our race and get Electro V2. And the final step is to defeat three Kaido bosses and grind for 750 billion belly and just summoning this Kaido boss is already super hard to do and defeating it is even more difficult but we're gonna have to do this to get Electro V2. By the way if you guys want to join the discord server for my new Roblox One Piece game called World Peace check the link in the description and the pinned comment for tester, giveaways, sneaks and much more. We're in the game so we're probably gonna start off by spinning for the main race because right now we're a human as you guys can see so let's go right over here to the gem shop and here it is for 500 gems we can re-roll our race and we have 5,000 gems so let's hope to get mink so we're just gonna spin hit confirm right there and come on hurry up and bro we just got human on our first try bro human is not what we need we're gonna spin again and bro did we really just get human twice in a row dude we got human two times bro we're at 4,000 gems left so let's continue race re-roll come on just give me mink and no way dude this game just does not want to give me mink. I don't know why. We got human twice and now we got sky pin. And I mean, these wings do look nice. Don't get me wrong, guys. These wings look very, very cool. But yeah, these aren't what we need. So re roll again. Come on, just give me mink. And yes, sir, bro. There we go. We got mink. So we've got these little bunny ears right here. They're pretty sick. But we're going to head over to the scientist dude who's going to awaken our race. We've arrived at the scientist right here. New world scientist. We're going to talk to this boy. So, so the scientist says, hello, you're a special one, aren't you? Not a lot of people can explore the third sea. I'm in need of some test subjects regarding essences. If you have one of them, perhaps we can make something happen. So we need two CV skills, two Kraken kills, two Poning Glyphs, and 100 billion belly and 25,000 gems and the race we want equipped and bro a soulless and race essence too we're gonna get this corp quest right here because you know it does give a bunch of money and as the scientist said we need a hundred billion so we can turn on our hawkeyes mode and our garp hero mode and of course our hockey with our limitless mode like bro we have so many buffs on it's absolutely insane but now on top of all of this we're gonna activate gear 5 honestly i wouldn't be surprised if we just one shot garp at this point because we have way too many buffs on so here we go we're gonna use kaminari we'll just one shot that boy and yup a one shot him we just got 18 billion time to kill him again so we'll just get these quests Yep, get five of them and let's just snipe this boy all the way from here with Kaminari and boom. I don't know why Kaminari makes that weird noise, but we're at 32 billion, just a few more kills to go. I think our gigantic stomp move might also one shot him, so we're gonna use it like that. And yep, it also one shot him, though we're around halfway there to a hundred billion. I think let's probably spin some of these daily spins because you know these might kill us two times belly or something, and bro, it's giving me gems now that I don't even need gems anywhere, bro. Why is it giving me the most trash stuff? And there we go. Finally got double belly. And bro, where did I get this fire fruit from? But yeah, this should help us grind belly a lot quicker. Let's see how much belly we're going to get now since we do have two times belly. So let's just let go of that move. And boom, bro. We're already at 75 billion belly. So I'm pretty sure after one more, we should be at 100 billion. Final kill before we're at 100 billion. So we're just going to... You know what? We can probably beat him up with gear forth. I haven't used this in a while and it did get reworked so here we go we're gonna use the first move see if this one shots him and bro how did that one shot him though here we go go on, go on, no con gun this might one shot him and yup it did he's got 28 billion and we have 103 billion money so let's go here's the new world scientist we're gonna talk to him once again so what do we need now so we have 100 billion we still need 25,000 gems so i think we're gonna do the peak raid a few times for those gems we're in the peak raid with all of our awesome buffs on we're just gonna enter gear five and let's see how fast we can beat up this boy pika though so we're gonna do a little countdown here we go hand clap gigant stomp and bad gun the ultimate move and honestly bro at this point we might just beat this dude up in under 15 seconds you guys can count if you guys want if you guys don't believe me but just look at this dude gear 5 is so insanely overpowered like i don't even know what to say at this point it's just way too op right now though we're gonna use our ultimate already the cooldown is already over that fast and by the way this dude does give like 5,000 gems, so we should be at 25k pretty soon, and just like that, we beat him up. We're gonna have to kill him once again, because, of course, we're not 25,000 yet, but it shouldn't take too long, since, of course, as I mentioned before this, 
this fruit is just way too overpowered to rubber fruit and gear 5. Plus I have all these buffs like Garp and Dual Yoru and Gojo and all this stuff so that's just making this fruit even stronger bro which just shouldn't be allowed at all because you guys can just see right here how strong this thing is and bro we even got to drop good golem chest plate we basically have 10,000 gems right now so we're gonna retry and keep going till we have 25,000 so it's kind of sad we're literally like 30 gems away from 25,000 gems i don't know why this game just likes to troll me so hard but this is the final peak we have to do before we can complete this step come on man he's almost dead just a few more hits just a few more moves till this boy finally dies and we're gonna be well over 25,000 gems, let's use our ultimate right now, this ultimate's about to one shot him, come on, and, yup, there we go, he's dead, let's watch our gem count go up, so, we're the scientist again, and we still need two CP skills, and two kraken kills, and the two pony glyphs, I'm pretty sure I already have those, so, what else we need, we need a solace and race essence, and I'm pretty sure these two are drops, from sea beasts and kraken so so we're gonna go kill some sea beasts and some krakens look this guys the world boss is finally spawned it's the kraken which is actually what we need to kill so yup just snipe that boy with that and this dude shouldn't take too long to kill because i'm pretty sure he does have around the same hp as the pika boss which we did multiple of earlier so let's just use our ultimate right here and yeah his hp bar is going down pretty quickly so him with kaminari once again and hand clap and bridger my volume is just way too down so let's just increase it real quick there we go and okay let's not stay in the water for too long because you know we're gonna die that way the gigant stomp again and finally our ultimate's already off cooldown and this thing is a little under half hp so you know we're doing pretty well so another kaminari and there we go he's dead with the lightning fruit and a skilled gauntlet but no soulless essence another world boss spawn thankfully and after this we should be able to you know start farming sea beasts because that's all we're gonna need after this and of course the drops but we don't have to worry about the drops yet we just gotta worry about killing two krakens and two sea beasts so we go hand clap gigant storm and this dude's almost dead, so close to dying, bro. Just a few more moves, then we should be able to move on to Sea Beasts. And if you guys didn't know, Sea Beasts are much easier, though. We'll get one shot by this, and yup, with the Fire Fruit and the Mask thing, though. Still no Soul Assassins. And bro, we have 32,000 gems. Look, well, this guy's a Sea Beast has spawned, so we can probably one shot. You know what? We'll one shot it with a Gigant Stomp instead. Here we go. Boom. And it's dead. Look, this guy's another Sea Beast has appeared, and I think I might actually be dead right now from the water. And okay, thankfully. Some will survive, we're gonna snipe this boy with Kami, Nari, just like this. Boom, come on, give me a drop, bro, and ooh, we got a Fishman Essence, but that's not what we need. We now completed killing two Krakens and two Sea Beasts, so let's go talk to the scientists. So we have two Sea Beast kills, two Kraken kills, two Pony Gloves, we already got that in previous videos. We have 100 billion belly, we have 25,000 gems, the race we want equipped, and here's the thing, guys. I already do have Soulless Essence right here from previous videos or something. I never even noticed it, that it was in my inventory, though we also have a Mink Essence, two of them, actually. Might have probably gotten these off camera, so I'm just farming Krakens for drops, like, a few months back or something i'm not sure though i just had them in my inventory that we're gonna hit confirm right here boom and i'm pretty sure we did get some sort of thing like a mink race essence or soul or something yup look this mink soul right here now we're gonna give this to some dude on the volcano island so let's go here's the guy let's talk to him so hello and okay so what do we even need here's the mink soul i'm just gonna hold it out and bro we need even more gems so we're back to the dude and this time we have 40 thousand gems which is a bunch of gems and i did grind a bunch of peak rates for this but anyways here we go we're gonna go ahead and click confirm and there we go we awakened a race we're an awakened mink and just look at this i can already tell that we're much faster and can we jump higher or something bro i have a huge tail right here too but i really like speed buff it's pretty nice look at this because we finally found the island of zoe it's a giant elephant it's sunisha though we're just gonna hop on top what do we even do now and oh there is a dude right here we're just gonna set our spawn here and let's enter this portal i guess and oh bro this place is sick dude i think maybe this thing right here drops the moon fragment we need so let's kill it real quick and oh damn why does it have so much hp bro i literally have gear 5 but i'm struggling to defeat it and okay there we go it's dead and no moon fragment though Let's find out who we need to talk to. Found the dude we have to talk to right here. His name is Pedro. So do you wish to learn Electro V2? Of course, my boy. And okay, we need four more Moon Fragments, three Awakened Kaido Kills, and 750 billion belly, bro. I mean, I guess we'll start grinding here because I'm pretty sure these bosses all over this island do actually give those Moon Fragments. So 
we can get their quest we'll be grinding money and the moon fragments at the same time so let's find this boss right here looks like we found the boss and let's see if we can one shot it now that we have all of our awesome buffs on and a bunch of crazy accessories on so here we go we're gonna use hand clap i guess and will we one shot him and yup we did no drop but we did get a bunch of money there's also another boss we can kill who's right on the other side here he is so let's kill him real quick boom nice and easy and damn bro, these moon fragments must be rare because we haven't gotten one yet so i don't want this video to be boring so i'm just gonna keep grinding and i'll cut to when i get some moon fragments or 750 billion belly look at this guys we did just get one moon fragment there it, it said it pretty quickly but we got it from that boss right down there so yeah one down three more to go got another moon fragment right there and we're at 325 billion cash so we're doing pretty good right now we have half the money needed and half the moon fragments needed for electro v2 let's go we got the final moon fragment right there so now we do have enough moon fragments finally so let's talk to pedro right here and yup there we go and bro no way i was so excited we still need to kill awakened kaido three times so now we're at kaido's island so let's talk to the dragon summoner i do have three fire dragon keys already that we can use to summon this boy so we can go there we go summoned awakened kaido should be here any moment now here he is we're gonna use our ultimate right now and yeah that's some nice damage bro we're gonna use kami nari as well and yo hand clapping gigantic stomp we're doing some great damage bro. honestly gear 5 is just way too OP. and if you guys didn't know this boss does have like 3 billion or 5 billion hp some crazy number like that but you know we're gear 5 luffy we're absolutely demolishing this boy and i can't wait to get electro v2 because that thing's gonna make us even stronger bro and yo he's almost dead guys just getting with another hand clap and a gigantic stop with this dude helping me as well so come on die kaido and he's dead no drop but it's fine we just need to kill him two more times summoned another one so we're just gonna use our ultimate right now let's pop it and let's see how much damage it does because i do have a bunch of accessories on and damn bro 761 million damage that's near a billion damage from one single move like you guys gotta admit that is really really overpowered but gigantic stomp him hand clap and of course kaminari because it's also do some nice damage and one more ultimate and then that dude can start helping because i will probably get credit after that hit and I'm just gonna keep spamming and i'll let him do the rest of the work so that because i think he needs the drops or something like that and after this just one more of these guys so hand clap and ooh, we just got an accessory chest no we might as well go ahead and open this boy for you guys because you know it's fun to see what we get open it and what did we even get bro Ooh, we got Mihawk's hat. No way, dude. Because I was upset. I'm like, damn, bro. We're going to have to grind for a bunch of Fire Dragon Keys to actually summon this boss. But, like, I don't even remember grinding for these Fire Dragon Keys. They were just lying around in my inventory. But, we're just going to finish off the last Kaido so we can get this all over with and get Electro V2. Because I'm really hyped to check that thing out. Knowing just how awesome Boss Studios updates are, can't wait to see how good Electro V2 looks. So, another Kaminari. And, come on. Just die already, Kaido, and boom. Ooh, we got a hybrid scroll and the Oni horns. There we go. We killed Kaido three times. We're gonna talk to Pedro, so yep, Pedro, give it to me, and there we go. We got Electro V2. We're gonna do a super fast showcase of Electro V2 here, the M1s. Pretty basic, and now we have Ellie Claw, or I don't know how to pronounce it, but here we go. Q move, first move, and ooh, it's a grab move. That's nice, dude. We're gonna try one more time real quick now we've got the next move electrical moon three two one electrical moon and yo one more time because we never got a good look at that so we go electrical moon and yeah you basically just throw a huge electrical ball and now we have moon dance right here so moon dance and yo yeah that move is not bad especially for a bunch of people like it just zaps around teleports to everyone near you and just attacks them all like damn bro that move is nice that's probably my favorite move so far next up we've got static talent so look at this static talent basically like a little barrage move and ooh, it's a barrage and like a lunge move so that's pretty cool one more time because that move looked pretty nice too so static talents yup nice looking move now before we check out the ultimate let's turn on the sulong mode so you go sulong and bro it's not working there we go look at this dude We've got electricity all over us, we've got this long hair, and do our M1s change at all or anything? Do any of the moves change at all or... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a damage boost or something like that, yup. It's a damage boost, but look at this trailer, that's pretty cool too, but we're gonna try out the ultimate move with Sulong mode on, so here's the ultimate move. 3, 2, 1, and ooh. Got a little cutscene going on, I will show you the true power of the Minka said there, take this and... Yeah, that looks beautiful 
beautiful dude. Make sure to join the Discord server for my upcoming new Roblox One Piece game called World Peace. Link in the description and pin comment for tester giveaway sneaks and much more. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop like and sub and see you guys in the next video.